Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly remove backgrounds from images using the Icon 8 Background Remover AI tool. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got various images that I downloaded from Unsplash. So I want to test this AI background remover tool using uh, some of these images. Some of them are quite simple, so they've got quite simple backgrounds, so the AI tool should cut around this quite easily. And then we've got more complex images where we've got like a laptop and water and lots of different things in this image, so it might be a bit more tricky for the AI tool to remove the background. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser. Let's just push this to one side and we'll have our images on this side over here let's just narrow this down a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and open up this website it's called basically you go to this url it's called icons8.com slash bg remover i'm going to put a link to this website in the youtube description so if you want to upload and remove backgrounds from lots of different images um, you need to register for an account, but the tool itself is free to use. So whenever you click on this little icon up here, so I've already logged into my account, you can register for free to use the tool as many times as you want. But when you click on it, you'll see that there's lots of other options in here. Um, you know, some paid services at the top here. So you can go and check them out. There's like a smart upscaler tool. So if you've got a really blurry image and you want to upscale it, you can use that tool there. There's generated photos. So you use AI to generate faces. That's quite interesting as well. So there's lots of different tools here and there's some uh, face swapping uh, tool here and there's a background remover. So this is the background one that we're interested in today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it will take us to icons8.com slash bg remover. So this is an artificial um, intelligence remover tool and it can remove different types of backgrounds depending on the, you know, the type of image. So let's drag and drop this first image into the software here and you're going to see your original image on the left and it's going to do the ai background remover on the right hand side and then we'll be able to download this image and then we can have a little play around with it maybe in photoshop or some other tools uh, just to see how accurate the background remove uh, removal tool works okay so on the screen we can see that the background has now been removed from this image so it takes a little bit of time for the software to analyze the image itself and then remove the background so you have to be a little bit patient but it's doing all the hard work for you so you know have a little bit of patience and it should give you a good result so i'm going to click download and i'm going to drag this image into the done folder up here so we're going to go into photoshop and have a look at these images and maybe see what we can do with them this particular image had quite a complex background can you see it's got lots of colors and there's lots of clashing and stuff like this and i managed to use the same ai tool to remove the background here so you can see the background has been removed it's done a pretty good job so we can already drag this one into the done folder i've already done that i simply dragged that particular image into the software let's try something a bit different so let's try an animal right so it's not a recognizable human face so let's see how well it works with animals so i'm going to drag this picture of the dog into the ai tool and you, the one that you've already dragged in previously will sit below and the new one will sit above so this will take maybe 60 seconds or so for it to process it's, it's processing at the moment um, it's going to process that image but while it's actually processing that image you can be a little bit cheeky and go and drag a second image in right so i'm going to drag multiple images so you can drag another one and this one's quite complex it's got the laptop and the, the plant and the phone so let's see how well it works with this image this one's already done look it didn't take that long so we can go ahead and click the download button and we'll drag that into our folder again just to um experiment with in photoshop so we'll have a little play around in photoshop afterwards to see how it looks let's drag that one into the done folder so that's three images I've done so far and it's um, you know I'm not using Photoshop I don't need to use any third-party tools just simply register on the website and uh, you can download basically if you don't register you can do three images if you register you can do as many as you want so it's worth registering uh, just to be able to access this software especially if you're not in front of your main computer but you need to remove a background so it's done a pretty good job here the only thing I was really interested in was a laptop to be fair but it's done the water it's done the Pad, uh, this little pad of paper it did miss out the phone but you know i wasn't expecting it to, to grab the phone anyway i was interested in the laptop here so let's download this as well and we can go ahead and drag and drop that into the done folder here as well maybe we'll try one more picture let's try something that has quite a lot of things going on in the background so this image has got 
you know quite a lot going on in the background i think it might struggle a bit because the grass is kind of overlapping the ear and stuff um so it's not really too fair to use this image but let's drag it and see um how it performs right so ideally we want it to cut around the dog shape but it may have a few problems where the grass is overlapping the ears um we may lose a bit of data there but let's see what happens with that particular image then we'll we'll um, have a little play around in photoshop to see what they look like okay so it finished processing the dog image it hasn't actually done too bad a job but you can see like some of the grass is still going to be there so you'd have to go into photoshop and edit out those elements but in general it's done a pretty good job of removing the background from this particular picture and applying it with a transparent background whenever you click the download button it's going to give you a png file because png supports uh, both high-res images and transparent backgrounds so we can drag and drop that one into here and now um, I'm not going to do all the images but I will put links to all of the images that I've gotten in this folder in the YouTube description so you can go and experiment with them or use your own images as well okay let's go and have a little fun in Photoshop so I've downloaded this image here this is like of this this uh, this beach scene so let's try and take some of these transparent images and apply them in Photoshop onto that background so let's go ahead and open up Photoshop I've already grabbed the image and placed it into Photoshop so let's take this image here this one of the ladies standing let's drag that into Photoshop you can see the background cut is pretty good right um, it's pretty good so we could drag that image and maybe move it over to here kind of looking towards the sun or something like this we'll accept that and then we can go ahead and drag this dog in here why not let's um, let's drag him in there that one's cut out very well so we can place him over here as well you can do the same in GIMP software if you don't have Photoshop you can drag these images into GIMP um, and experiment with them as well the laptop um, really the laptop I'm going to drag that into a new window and then I'm going to use the marquee tool let's just grab around that laptop let's just do that a bit better something like this and then we can just copy that just press ctrl c or command c on the mac copy it and then we can paste it over here and uh, we, let's resize that laptop let's put it on the beach somewhere something like that in here right so i'm just playing around in photoshop but you can see the background cutouts are pretty good right they're not perfect but it's using ai and it's probably as good as what photoshop could do anyway i think it's actually done a fairly good job especially with this dog the cut out is pretty awesome right it's very very clean edges the edges look very very clean the laptop looks very good as well so you could take that laptop and maybe put it on a desk um and the picture of this lady here the cut out was pretty good on that one as well right that's actually very good there's a few little artifacts that you might want to tidy up in Photoshop afterwards but that's pretty minor right that's pretty minor so overall I do actually rate this AI tool I actually think it's pretty good so if you don't have Photoshop and you know you don't have expensive editing software but you want to remove a background and maybe use that in GIMP so to do this in GIMP software it will take you quite a long time I'll be honest with you there's no sort of AI background remover tool in GIMP um, if you're using that to do your your image editing or if you're using Canva or some other sort of software then this is actually pretty good I'll, I have to admit I'm quite impressed uh, especially with these images here and this one here is done pretty well so overall pretty good so this is how you use the icon 8 uh, background remover tool it's using artificial intelligence which i think is quite um you know different compared to some of the other background removal tools i've seen on the internet so don't forget i'll put a link to this website in the youtube description so you can go and experiment and have some fun let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll minimize this folder that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to use the icon 8 background remover tool and i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial